everybody, this is Jesse here from Eager Free Public Library and I wanted to show you one of our new curbside craft kits that we're going to have available for July. And I know the 4th of July is going to look a little bit different this year, maybe than other years. Um, so we wanted to show you a craft activity that you can do at home to celebrate. And this is what the take home kit looks like. It comes with two balloons, two rubber bands, two pieces of origami paper, some 4th of July festive stickers, and then some shredded confetti. What you'll need from home is a toilet paper, empty toilet paper roll here, cardboard. And then you may want a glue stick um, and a pair of scissors too. And the first thing that you'll do to make a 4th of July party popper is you will tie a knot at the end of your balloon just like you would if you had blown the balloon up with air, but you're not actually adding any air. So you should have a knot at the end of your balloon here, and then you're actually going to cut off the top of the balloon. So your balloon should look something like this. And then you're gonna put the balloon at the very bottom of your toilet paper roll. You can add a little glue if you'd like to, or you can use the rubber band to help secure the balloon on there as well. And this will be the bottom of your party popper. And next what you'll do is you'll glue your piece of confetti paper around the popper. You can also secure this on is with a rubber band as well if you don't have any glue at home. And then what I like to do is I like to cut some of the excess paper off the top. And then if you make a little slit in the paper at the top, you can kind of tuck this in. So your popper, popper will look something like this. And then you can add some decorative stickers to the outside. Um, if you've got markers or colored pencils or crayons at home, you can decorate it in any way that you'd like. Um, this is an example of a finished one that I have here. And the very last step is adding confetti to your popper. And a little goes a long way here. Um, so you just have to put a little bit down here and then when you're all done, what you do is you give this a good pull at the bottom, the balloon a good pull at the bottom, you kind of hold it securely here, and then you can pop confetti out. Another great option is also, um, you'll have this included, but if you wanna add glitter, glitter can be fun um, to explode out of here as well, except with glitter you wanna make sure you do it outside because inside it can be a lot to vacuum up glitter out of a carpet for a long time. Um, and you'll also want to make sure that when you shoot this off that you're not aiming it at directly at anybody. Um, but you can continue to um, have fun and celebrate and use this confetti. If you're doing this at home and didn't pick up one of our kits, a great way to make your own confetti is to take red, white, and blue pieces of paper. And if a parent or guardian has a shredder, ask them to just run the paper through the shredder and you can make your own confetti as well. Um, but these will be available in the kits as well. And then if you pick up a kit, be sure to, um, if you'd like to send us a video or a picture of your finished party popper, go ahead and feel free to leave those in the comments as well. Thanks everybody, have a great 4th of July.